like we always do at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing this morning? Early as hell. I'm up at 7 a.m. on my mother effing job. Doing what I do. Now, I was sitting up and I was listening to 100 Track K sitting on the off the porch interview. And a lot of shit came across my mind as I'm just sitting here listening to him on the headphones. First of all, first of all, now, the night that King Von died, as you can see right here on this tape, I kept trying to figure out who this person was. And as you can see, this person was there before King Vaughn got there. As you can see, if you look a little further, no, nah, I ain't even gonna get into that. The police was already sitting there, right? I kept saying, who was this person that was standing out here before King Vaughn even got on the scene? Hold up, y'all, forgive me. Cause I'm going to show you something. Hold up, hold up. Boom. I kept trying to figure the fuck out who that person was. And, and, and at one point, I said, now it's two things going on here I want y'all to peep. First of all, that is DJ Benz that's standing there. I I said that it was Little Tim on one video. I was like, that's Little Tim. That's Little Tim. No, 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 no. That's not Little Tim. That is DJ Bands that's standing there. DJ Bands happened to be Little Dirk's DJ. Little Dirk had eyes out there that night to make sure he see what happened. That man stood there, waited for, and he's standing right there in front of where Little Tim pulled out. Because right now, as you see, the square is not formed. The white trucks is not pulled up yet. It was two white trucks that were pulled up in the mid. And then it was another motherfucking truck, I mean, another van that was pulled up over there. But it looks like that's already Vaughn sitting over there. And if that's Vaughn sitting over there in the truck, because the cop cars are right behind his truck, as it was, unless another car pulled up on the side, that's Vaughn already sitting there. DJ Bands and Vaughn was sitting there. Now, remember they kept saying Vaughn was asleep. Vaughn probably was sleeping in that truck the whole time, but wasn't none of them out there. Knocked out sleep. DJ Bands standing there looking up at the camera view that caught the whole fucking incident. Do y'all peep that? He's looking up at the camera that caught the whole incident. Oh, my bad. I had done walked off and everything. I thought I paused this motherfucker. My bad. But listen, I just want y'all to, to pay attention to this. See this dude? He stood there, right? He's looking up at the camera that recorded it. One of the cameras. That was the higher camera. Everybody kept saying, what about that camera? Let me tell you about that camera. And, 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 and peep game, y'all, right? Hold up. Let me go back here. That's them stealing his shit. These the these are the the Vogue the Rogues stealing his shit out of his house. That's supposed to be his friends and shit like that. But listen, let's get back to this picture. Now we could go back and see when the action started, right? Boom. That's Baz again. Now we got a clear view. Y'all know who truck that is. Is that not the, 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 I don't know if that's the truck that Vaughn jumped out of or is that Little Dirk's truck. 
But DJ Baz is standing right there on the scene of the crime, and you got other people out there. Somebody even standing to talk to the police on this frame. Someone's standing there talking to the police, as you can see on the video. Now, when I'm listening to 100 Track K, it, it, what's sad is the shit just dropped like a ton of bricks. First of all, Track really want them to kill Melly in jail. And he's laughing about they're going to kill Melly in jail. And the dumb shit that they told Melly to tell those people would never, ever fly at any court in any fucking district of the world. They know that they told him some dumb shit. If Track, if Track allegedly really is a cop, right? Let's just say that Track is really a cop, right? Let's say Track is a cop. Now look, now there's the other setup. And notice, DJ Benz is gone. You know why DJ Benz is gone? Know why DJ Benz not standing right there no more? DJ Benz already knew what was going to happen. DJ Benz went and stood by the door. As soon as the bop, 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 bop started, he hauled ass through that door. But note, he was standing there before any of these vehicles, except for the black vehicle, that almost looks like the vehicle that came around later and picked Vaughn up. You understand what I'm saying? It almost looks like the vehicle that picks Vaughn up later on and pulls off. But DJ Baz was standing there. Now, as I'm listening to 100 Track K sit there and plot on Melly and how old Melly, oh yeah, did Melly gonna be free? Melly gonna have platinum plaques. That's the song that they're singing, Melly, because they got Melly on a wild goose chase. But one thing they did do, one thing they did put in the plan was to motherfucking clear Cortland and let it be known that Cortland wasn't even in the car or was not a shooter. Because out of all the people, they telling Melly to duck the people, but told Cortland to go in and get his hands checked to prove that he didn't shoot a gun, A, B, or C. Why ain't Melly go prove that night that he didn't shoot a gun if he didn't shoot a gun? Because it was all part of the setup for his demise. Then... And then, as you see, the same people that we have that we want to say set Vaughn up has some do with Mully case, even even down to Bootsy. Because why would Bootsy go get him a lawyer? And the lawyer that he got him can't be much of shit. Because Cortland, who was a motherfucking co-defendant on the case, got a bell. And he's the one who delivered the dead bodies to the motherfucking hospital. Cold, cold dead bodies. So when the bodies got there and they started to try to do CPR on them, they was like, yo, the body temperature was so cold. They was dead for hours. So, well, they was dead. I ain't going to say for hours, but they was dead for over an hour. And, and they knew that at the hospital, so they got the law involved. When the law got involved, they checked Cortland to make sure he wasn't a shooter or involved in any shootings, which he came back clear. But yet and still, there was no Melly. <laughs> there was no Melly. They got 100 track K phone going to the scene of the crime at the time that before the bodies was delivered to the hospital. They got 100 track K phone meeting up with them. Who was with 100 track K? We would never know. Whoever was, was with 100 track K ordered those two boys to stay in that truck. Ordered Cortland and, and Melly to exit the truck. I think that Cortland know way more than what he's saying. I really think that Melly was so high up on syrup and drugs and shit like that, they put him in another car and they parted ways with him after they left that studio. And, and Melly really don't know what happened. That's why his first statement was, yo, these jealous ass niggas killed my homeboys. What jealous ass niggas? Could you please elaborate on that? Because I never knew you had a beef with anybody. Well, I knew they had a little beef, but you know. what? Who killed your homeboy? But... Let me let me enlighten y'all, cause I'm not even gonna me 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 too long. Check this shit out. Listening to hundred track K, I finally know who did this video, and you know what? They did the video and they didn't wanted to look too 
professional so they did it the way they did it and from diff why do you think that there's so many different angles why do you think that track said y'all only seen one angle because you know what track now he know that the cameras were set up to record multiple angles one of the cameras was even a 360 camera that looked all around showed the cars showed the people running showed people getting shot it showed everything now it's a person that track is very, 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 very close with. That doctored, that took shit out, that made shit not available for your viewing on those videos. And when when I when I came up with this, I just fell back in my chair like, you know what? This is crazy. And y'all y'all want to know who who the cameraman was and. Who, who had those guys out there lining off where they wanted Vaughn to fall. And I'm telling y'all, I think it was all just for a video shoot. I feel that at the end of the day, with Vaughn being who he is, Vaughn's life was at da in danger. Because people was hating because they said that he killed their family or they suspected him of killing their family. Some people were shot and allegedly blamed him. Know who I feel did the whole fucking video? And y'all could go back and listen to track off the porch. Y'all go. I, I should even play a piece and let y'all see where where I got where 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 I'm coming from with this. But I want y'all to do the knowledge on that. Go watch off the porch. Go watch off the porch podcast. One hundred track K. He got on a brown looking a tan looking tan like a brown looking shirt like a light brown shirt with some little fucking hollow sound the chains on back. <laughs> I hate when chains do that. That's the fakest shit I've ever heard, nigga. If you had to make that shit that big and it sound like that, you should have just made some solid little shit that would have looked it better and sound better. That shit went <laughs> garbage. Now, back to who I think that, even this little clip that we looking at here, you know who I feel did this here, y'all? If Drew ain't filming, nobody did. Drew... Whoever that kid is called Drew, this night here, that this shit was, that this shit was done. Now look at this, the scene change. Nobody showed y'all in the beginning. Now look, DJ Bass hard ass. But y'all may tell y'all some other shit if you look at this video. It look like shit was taken out this video and, and, and placed in here on some phony shit. You look at the lights in front of the car. You look at the sideway quando standing to the car. It's a big ass circle like somebody was doing some doctoring to the video. Now, ask yourself. Now, as I'm looking, that is the truck that King Vaughn was in. King Von truck was sitting there well before any of those white cars came. They didn't start to show until these white cars pulled up. That black car was sitting there face King Von looking at him. Because that is the same vehicle that was sitting there. It wasn't no other vehicle pulled up. And I said that might be Dirk's truck. No, it wasn't Dirk's truck. It was King Von that was sitting there. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you again. Look. Check this shit out. Boom. Right there. Tell me that that ain't the same truck sitting over there, but now it's all gathered. It's people standing in front of it. You feel me? It's people standing all in front of it. But that's the same truck that King Von jumped out of. But what made it look different is when those two white vehicles pulled up in the middle, because one pulled all the way in between the, the, the white van with a white little truck or van at, it pulled up to that, and the other one stood like before you get to Von truck, like, entering the truck, which made that a perfect square in front of the black car that DJ Bands is standing in front of. Why was DJ Bands standing there looking up at the camera? They used DJ Bands to tape to, to, to test the camera? Because look, see where that arrow, look, it's even an arrow there showing where they supposed to pull up at. Unless that's just coincidental, that's a, a double arrow saying go both ways. Because the arrow ain't pointing that shit, it's like a marker arrow. Niggas wasn't smart enough to see this, was they? But you know what? I saw it. And now, when I thought that that was Little Tim, a Little Tim, 
I apologize because I put your name in some bullshit and it didn't really have nothing to do with you. And I really thought that that was your little black ass standing out there by that car and it's not. So I'm going to clear that up from an old video that I did because I hate to say some shit and the shit wasn't right. And then I just let it ride like that and I know that it wasn't right. That is DJ Benz. Anybody want to elaborate on that is DJ Benz standing there? And I'm going to show y'all again. Now, y'all see before the two white cars pulled up, and they got the little square showing, I mean, the little arrow pointing, showing you what they wanted clear. And they, and it's pointing right to the little, little spot where Vaughn walked in at. The arrow. That fucking arrow. Boom. The arrow never lies. It's the sparrow of the arrow. I'm about to make a church song at that shit. Now, look. Boom. Here's another clip from it. DJ Benz, hard ass, that black truck still there, the two cars pulled up in the front. Now, the only thing that make Vaughn truck look different is it's a gang of motherfuckers standing on like a production crew. And they only in that area. They all, they, why ain't nobody standing on the side with Quando no matter? Quando them over there by themselves like they the stars of the show. You feel me? DJ Benz, hard ass, and go stand right by a door. Now, DJ Benz was standing not too far away from Quando Rondo. He wasn't standing too far away from Quando Rondo. When King Von walked up, and he was like, where was he? He didn't even know where he was going. He was going to the entrance of the fucking club. Think about that. He was going to the entrance of the club, and then he turned off. So they was telling him that they was in the club. He was finna walk in that club, and then he turned off when he seen Quando standing there. He said, you still on that shit? And hit him, bomb, 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 bomb. Quado say he didn't even know they had a beef. I never knew they had a beef. But if this shit is all a plot, won't it be a perfect plot to say they, 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 it was a beef, it was a street fight, a gang fight, and, Quan, and King Von died? Hmm. You know what? If you're interested to know more and you want me to do more on this video, please leave a comment down below because I'm going to leave this bitch right here for now. Because I feel like a lot of this went over our head for too long and we never caught this. We ain't know who that was standing next to that car because I even thought it was a little time. But as you see, Quando them had on all black. That person had on a yellow and blue hoodie. We know who had on that hoodie now. Someone kept telling me, check out DJ Benz. I think that was, was this, was that Delay Reaction kept telling me that? Delay Reaction, what up? I hope everything going good on your job too, my brother. Keep your head up and pump and work and let's get this money. Um, he was like, check out Baz. Why was Baz standing up there looking over there at Vaughn? And then when, when, before these two white trucks pull up, he, he flees and goes stand by the door. When the shooting starts, he runs through the door, then start peeking, then runs out looking to make sure Vaughn was dead. That footage was going straight to Little Dirk. I don't care what nobody's saying. I'm going to leave it there. Just like this guy that kept saying, oh, oh, it was Donovan. Yeah, that footage went right to fucking Donovan. Tyler Haggins, thank you, and we appreciate you for everybody who doubt that woman. And Alexis K. Tyler, that's my baby. It's my homegirl. Not like I said, like all flirtatious, like that's my baby. I'm just saying, no disrespect to her. But dope sisters, man, and they bout they shit. These people like, I don't believe them because they. All right, fuck you then. I go with them. No, my sisters, man. Like they, they, they both dope. And I stand on what they stand on when they, like, like when I was like, what if King Vaughn wasn't dead? That was a great thought. But I think he's dead. Because like I said, when guy like keeps saying, mm -mm, I talk to this dude, I know I ain't gonna never, I ain't gonna never, ever, 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 ever go against what she said. When my when motherfucking, notice I never did a Nipsey video. Notice I never did a video debunking that he was dead, even though his video saying that he's not dead. Alexis K. Tyler said he's dead. She seen him in her living room. That's all I know. And I'm gonna leave that bitch right there. I don't even. I don't go against them. No matter. Like I said, I got so much love for them. And I love they. I love they work. I love they body of work. So respect to them sisters. And you know, it's your boy Casa Don. Thank you to every last one of my subscribers and everybody who watched the videos and everybody who recommended the videos, everybody who shared the videos, everybody who took time out to even just view me. Thank you. I appreciate that. And everybody who been running them thumbs up for me, man. Thank you. Appreciate appreciate, appreciate ya. You already know. It's your boy Casa Don. I salute you. Wouldn't want to shoot you. I'm about this bitch.
like we be doing at this time.